Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to see you all again here on another Twinkle Tip Friday video. And we have something very interesting for you. I bet you have no idea what this does in X Lights. All right, folks, what we're talking about today is this little icon straight up above me there. It's called the effects assistant. Now, um, I, I talked about this briefly at the end of our webinar this past Tuesday night. It's not posted yet on uh, YouTube, but it is on Facebook. If you go to uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook.com forward slash Pixel Pro Displays, you'll see our weekly webinar or biweekly webinar video. Uh, where we talked about the picture effect. It's the video to get you started with the picture effect. And so um, I was having a chat with Robert earlier today and he mentioned something that I had done at the end of the, the class, which was about 45 minutes or so. And it was about the effects assist window. Now that's this icon right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it and you might see uh, something moved across the screen here. There it is, there's the window right there, it popped up here. Now yours might not pop up there. Now there's two of them that look the same, so this might be a little confusing. Um, this There's two icons that look, look the same. I think this one has a smaller pencil, I think it does, but I can't really tell. Um, but this is the effects assist, this is the select effects, don't get confused. But the effects assistant window is a window that helps us do different things for three different effects in X lights. Uh, and I'm going to try to go over some of those things that it does for those effects and how it can help you with sequencing. And the reason why it's brought to you is because Robert said, hey, this is, you, you, you probably should address this in a Twinkle Tip Friday video. So I, here it is. The effects assist window assists with certain effects and there's only three of them. So if I come down here and, well, first of all, I'm gonna grab this effect. This is the morph effect. And I'm gonna throw it onto the mega tree. Now I'm, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to move this down here so that you can see this. And I'm gonna add, let me, we're gonna use this tree here. I'm gonna add some extra layers in here because we're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you why this effects assist window is helpful. So this is the morph effect. I'm gonna put it on our smaller tree. So if you're familiar, this is our small tree, the small uh, mega tree, it's a 16 by 50. It's a little easier to, to point the pixels in the direction, but what you can see is thanks to this effects assist window, you have a square definition of exactly what the prop is and how many pixels are in it. So if you count across the bottom, this is 16 wide by 50 tall. So that it actually makes a grid for the uh, for each of your matrix or uh, mega tree panels or any of your own uh, your other models. It makes a grid for you in order to allow the effect to pass across it. Now the morph effect is a start to end. Uh, effect, meaning it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it only carries out for as long as you have the duration of the effect here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to designate where I want one point to start, which is here. Now this is manual, I'm dragging these here. You can come over here in the sliders and you can use these sliders. Here's This is the end points, these are the points up here. If you watch as I move the sliders, see look, as I move the slider you can see, oh look, the point moves. And then it, we could have it move over here. There you, you see, you see it moving there. Boom! It's just, it's kind of moving on its own. Or you can manually move it yourself and place it wherever you feel like you want that morph to end up. So it starts at a point and it ends at a point. And this is how I love to sequence like this. Is one of my favorite effects is the morph effect. And it's also for whatever reason very complicated. Uh, but so this is what's nice about the morph effect. It has a couple nice features. It's kind of like the layer setting box here where you can grab the layer setting box and move it with the click of your mouse. See down there, that's the layer setting box. That's the, the buffer. Uh, and I, I just double click to reset it. But I can also do the same thing here. Look, I can grab and click in the middle and I can move it and drop it wherever I want. Now, once I move it and it bounces up against the side, see how it reshapes itself. In other words, I can do things with this that otherwise uh, you, you might, you don't do over here with the morph settings panel. So, th so that's one thing that this effects assist window does. And it also does this. So what I'll do is I'll make a duplicate copy of the morph effect and I'll lay it down here. 
And then I'm just going to grab this one and move it up. And look, I've got two of them there. Now what if I change the color to green? And now what if I lay another one down here? Boom. And I grab this and I move it up. And some of you have probably seen this from other videos that I've done. And you can select all of these here, go down to the bottom right, hold your alternate key, see the double arrows, and you can drag it out so it looks like, oh, look at that, a couple little ribbons going up the tree. Kind of pretty. I love to do that stuff. That's what the effects assist is used for, is to help you build effects using the morph effect. That's part number one. Okay, effect number two that we use the effects assist for is one of the newest effects and that's this effect right here this is called the sketch effect now i'm putting this again back on the basic tree and let me stretch it out so you can see what's going on you can watch my video you can watch a video on the morph effect um in in the channel i i could probably link it above or maybe check the, the comment section down below I'll, I'll probably put a couple links in the, or in the information section of the video below you can see that we have this is called the sketch effect now what's so exciting about seeing a picture being drawn on a matrix or a mega tree well there's a lot that you can do with it but the 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 start of the magic of this effect actually comes from the ability to be able to draw on this thing and so what i'll do here is i'll pull i'll pull this model preview out of here and you can see that path number one if i click on it it's the tree and this is the default setting so this is just to show so you see that the picture effect does something when you put it down you don't need to keep it though you can delete these by hitting the clear button and now you can draw something you can come in here and you can uh, oh you can come over here to this right here where browse is and we can search uh, oh look Oh, look, there's Carl and his wife. I'll put Carl and his wife up there. And look, you could draw pictures of Carl and his wife. You could look, click start and you could you could put little, there's a circle. And if you hit the shift key, uh, you can get an added point there. If you hit the shift key twice, it changes it to a blue line and you get two points that you can pull on. And then you can click there and you can click done or uh, end. And then now we can, now we can, uh, try to i maybe maybe this isn't a great example but at least look here see um carl's gonna laugh if he if he watches this but rita's gonna have even more fun uh, so there's a circle look i just drew a circle and i made it draw the circle and this is what the effects assist does for the sketch effect so you can do lots of crazy stuff with the catch of sketch effect it's a lot of fun to play with but don't be intimidated because there is this window is here to assist you so the third thing that is actually very interesting about using the uh, uh, the effects assist window is being able to create basic images in x light so i'm going to use the picture effect and how it works inside x lights is we have a couple options in here now uh, you have to create a new image so i'm going to create a new image and it, here we go so i'm just going to make a on the desktop i'm going to make a new folder i'm going to call this um picture effect poof okay and then we'll go into this uh, this this folder, and we're going to save the name. We're, we're going to select this folder, and this is going to be the folder that we work out of, right? This could be your XLights directory. This could be your image folder inside your XLights directory. That's a good suggestion. So now, now that we have a new image, what we can do is we can we can grab and click on the little boxes here. Now think again about what we've already learned about the picture effect from the morph effect, which this box that you see here is nothing more than your matrix or your mega tree in the exact pixel count and you can come in here and physically draw okay so there's some functions that we have in here and that you can play around with and learn more about but this is what the effects assist does with the picture effect you can create images we can come in here and oh, let's draw a little square here um, that's a that's a well not quite a square but a little bit of a square um, and and we can uh, you can you can change the colors we can put let's say a blue here oops I didn't hit blue I thought I did uh, oh if you want to erase it right click and you can erase it and start over uh, but we can we can draw a little square here with blue in it and we were doing stuff with the picture effect now I know this isn't the very most interesting thing that you can draw and I'm not teaching you how to draw but I'm teaching you that you can bring uh, you know utilize this to load an image into 
into the Apex Assist window and you can do some editing to it. So it's rather interesting that you can do it. Um, let's go ahead and save this. Let's save this image. Uh, we'll, call, we'll, we'll save it as new image. It'll ask us to overwrite it. Yes, let's overwrite it. And then now let's go move this off the screen and let's go practice one of the things that we did yesterday uh, or this earlier this week um, uh, where, where you see the picture here. We'll go ahead and make sure it's loaded. And if we have the, the preview window, there we go. There's the mega tree. And if we start playing with some of these things like tile left, look at that. You got tile left there. Now watch this. You can copy and paste this. You can play a little bit with this. And and now you have two of the same effects. Let's come down here to the uh, buffer and we can move the buffer up here. And oh, it looks like it has a black background. So one of the things that we'll do is we'll give transparent background. Oh, look at that. You got a couple squares just zinging across the screen there. And all you did was make some squares that just tile to the left. So that's one thing that you can do with the picture effect. You can also, and I'll stop this for just a moment, uh, you can also uh, grab a new one. We'll do a new picture effect. Let's uh, move over here. Control. I do. I have a shortcut for the picture effect, which is a uh, um, which is shift and capital P or capital P shift P and that's my shortcut but I made that next slide so you can watch the video on how to do your own uh, key bindings if you want for shortcuts but next what we can do is we can load an image we can load an, any image in uh, th that's available you could download an image or or whatever there we go We'll, we'll bring Carl into this again. Uh, although you can't see it, the image size is literally at 325 by 402. We would need to resize this image down. Um, uh, we'll do this normal. We'll just do this normally and scale it down to 100 by 100. And that still didn't bring it in. Let's resize the image again. So you can keep doing, let me make that uh, 50 by 50. Now, it's not going to look, you can barely see the face right there, but the more you scale the image down, the harder it is for you to see it. So you can see that you can actually scale down the size of an image. Now, our matrix is not very um, uh, high density, our, our mega tree. It's a very low density. So you have to be very specific about some of the images that you do use. But you could, you could come in here and I don't know, um, let me let me go find uh let me go find an image on the internet real quick so let me show you this really quick so you see the little character right here we could actually kind of draw him out if we were to click on him we might be able to physically recreate super mario in this exact image here because he looks like he's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, he's seventeen pixels wide. We'd have to remove one whole row. But you could, you could take the time. We could do a new image, and we could sit here. I wish I could. Uh, let me see if I can do this. There we go. Let me. Let me. There we go. Now we have we have our two images. It's really kind of hard to see it right here. But we'll see if we can't. Let's see if we can't draw this image here of Super Mario into this screen here. So we've got a new, we can do new image. And uh, we have red. So let's put some red up here. And one, two, three. What is that? One, two, three, four, five blocks. And um, we're, we're a couple blocks from the end. One, two, three four, five, six. We're six blocks from the end. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do, we'll get rid of that one there. Okay. So there's five and then we'll do down here and we'll go straight across and we'll do our best to kind of duplicate what they've done. Um, and, and then we need to come up with a, with another color. So let's, we need to come up with this skin color. Where's that, uh, skin color at? We'll, we'll kind of go to that. Let's see. Can we, yeah, that's close enough. That's fine. We'll, we'll do that. We'll say, here's a hand up here. A hand, a hand, a hand. Okay, and now he's got red. He's got his red hand here. Maybe that's a maybe that's a different color red. Maybe we'll do a different color red for his um, instead of his hat. And then we'll erase that, and we'll just keep going. Let's have a little bit of fun, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, let's go back to the skin. It looks like the skin comes down to one two and then we have black we need some black for his eyeball there oh we don't need that let's just imagine we don't have that there's 
Let's make his nose down, down. Well, there you have it. It looks like I was able to kind of reproduce it. Now, look, I can save the image and we'll, we can save them as Super Mario. And we can now move this off the screen. Let's uh, let's go full size here since we've already created it. And let's see what we can do with them, right? Um, now, is this, it, can I make him animate? Well, I have him running backwards there. What if, uh, what if I have him tile to the right? Oh, look at that. I've got him running and tiling to the right. Like, I, now, another thing you could do, like, just with the picture effect, and this is just kind of what we were talking about the other day, was we could use the vector setting and go to start position off the screen, move him back here, and the end position could be all the way over here to the right. There you go. So now I've got a picture of Mario that I drew myself. I, I, I used literally a quick Google search, a little little search there, and poof, I got Super Mario. I created my own image of him. He looks really cute, a little bit of fun. And that's what you can do using some of the functions that you find in the effects assistant window that could be something useful, something that you want to play with, and something that you want to grow your skills using x lights with. All right, guys, that's everything I have for you. I hope you liked the video. I hope it taught you something you didn't know, and it maybe helped uh, remove a little bit of the illusion and frustrations that x might cause for you. If you liked the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big red subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss any of the content that we produce here at the PPD YouTube channel. And it helps keep you uh, reminded that there are other videos that pop up, like I still have to post the video from uh, Tuesday night from our webinar on the picture effects, so you can, you can clearly go and watch it on Facebook. But if you're not on Facebook, just hang on. I'm gonna get it out here as soon as I get some free time. And there's always more coming from P us here at PPD. If you like cool shirts just like this, don't forget to head on over to pixelprodisplays.com. Go to this store find our gear link to our gear in the bottom of the store page it's down below actually and you can pick up one of our awesome cool t-shirts they are really amazing super comfortable and you should totally get one guys that's everything have a wonderful weekend enjoy it is it is the end it's the end of october or oh my gosh no it's the end of september and it's time to get rolling for the holiday season. If you have any questions, things you'd like to see, put them in the comments down below. Let us know the videos that you'd like to see or information or content that you'd like to learn about more. And I'm happy to share it with you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you again for joining us and we will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye for now.